Okay, here's the good news. This lesson is chapter two all over again. The only difference is now you have inequalities, so greater than, less than, greater than, or equal to, less than, or equal to, instead of having equal signs, okay? So you know how to do this right now. You just need to figure out that you know how to do it because I promise you do know how to do it. Um, but if you can solve an equation like you did in chapter two, which every one of you showed me that you could in some way, shape, or form, um, you've got this, okay? So here it is. First example, you are going to do x minus 15 is greater than negative 12. Okay, x minus 15 is greater than negative 12. Here's what you have to do with it. You need to think of it like it's an equation. So this isn't what we're solving right now. You don't even necessarily have to write this down if you don't want, but you're solving this, x minus 15 equals negative 12, okay? It's just that this equal sign that we used to use is now becoming an inequality, all right? Um, you don't do anything differently. You still do the exact same process. So if I were to solve this equation, what would I do first? Add 15. So when you go over to this inequality and you solve it, what should you do first? Add 15, okay? So treat it exactly like you treat your equation. So, oops, not 12, 15. So if I add 15 here and I add 15 here, then what I'm left with, this goes away. I have x. What's my symbol? Uh, the greater is than greater right? than. x is greater than. And what's negative 12 plus 15? 3. 3. So you get x is greater than 3. Okay. Does that mean that 7 is an answer to that? Yes. Yeah, 7 is greater than 3. Is 12 an answer to that? A solution? Yeah, 12 would be a solution because 12 is greater than 3. Is 3 a solution? Kind uh, It is not. Is 3 greater than 3? No. 3 is 3, right? So if it was an equal sign, it would be an answer, an acceptable solution. But 3 is not greater than 3, so 3 would not be a solution to it. Okay? Okay. Um, so how would you graph this one? If x is greater than 3, what number goes here? 3. Is it an open or a closed dot? Closed. Open. Because there's no equal sign, right? And then x is greater than 3. So where do I go? To the right or to the left? Right. To the right. That's what happens every year when I teach this lesson. People start singing at me. Um, okay, so that would be your answer. How about this one? What if my equation was 10 is greater than or equal to x minus 3? Okay, so imagine you have an equal sign there. What do you do? To get x by itself, what do you need to do? You need to add 3. So we're going to go plus 3 here and plus 3 here, right? So the 3s go away. You have x. You keep your symbol the same. 10 plus 3 is 13. So this is your answer. Now, if you want to make sure you graph it right, what can we do here? Flip the whole thing, okay? So instead, it could say x is what? less than or equal to, right? You're going to flip that whole thing around and then the 13. So either one of these is acceptable. I don't care which one you give me, okay? If it helps you to flip it around, then flip it around. So if we were going to graph this, what's the number we're going to put here? 13, open or close dot. It's going to be a closed dot because we have the equal sign, right? So a closed dot at 13 and then what direction are we going to put our arrow? To the, right. to the left, right? If I turn this into an arrow, it's pointing to the left. 
because x has to be less than or equal to 13. So anything less than 13 is an acceptable answer, or 13 itself is an acceptable answer. Okay? Questions on that? Okay, how about this one? If I give you t plus 6 is greater than negative 4. t plus 6 is greater than negative 4. What do I do to solve? You have to plus four on both sides. Subtract six. Subtract six. You want to isolate the variable, oh, right? Yeah. So get everything away from the T. So we're going to subtract six here, subtract six here. So this goes away, and we are left with T is greater than, what's negative four minus six? Oh, my. Negative two. Negative Negative 10, right? Negative 4 minus 6 is like negative 4 plus a negative 6. So you get negative 10. Okay? And then to graph that, if t has to be greater than negative 10, here's our negative 10, open or closed dot. Open dot, because you don't have the equal sign here, right? And t is greater than that. Where do you go? Okay. You go to the right, okay? Your arrow here would be pointing to the right, so go this way. T is greater than negative 10, okay? How are we doing so far? Okay. Last one. Um, this is technically example four. Sorry, I didn't write two, two and three on those, but this is like example four in the book. Okay, so if you're following along in the book, this is what it is. Uh, it says the hard drive on your computer has a capacity of 120 gigabytes. Okay, so you have 120 gigabyte capacity on your computer. You have used, so this is capacity. You have used, Dustin, if you can't control your actions right now, you're going to need to step out into the hall. Um, you have used 85 gigabytes. Um, you want to save some of your hard drive. What are the possible sizes of the video collection you can save? So if we're going to save some videos to our hard, hard drive and we have used this much with a total capacity of 120, how much space do we have to work with is what they're saying. Okay, So we've used 85. We have a total of 120. What inequality could you set up? Okay, so we're going to put videos on. So let's just call videos V. So the amount of videos that we use, how are we going to write an inequality with that? We've used 85 gigs. We have a total of 120 to work with. How much space is available for us to put videos? What do you do? What's your inequality going to say? V plus, V minus, what? What usually happens with a total? Okay, so if you take the amount of videos you have and you take 85 away from that, that will get you your total of 120? <laughs> then it's plus. Okay, so if you take the videos you're planning to use plus the 85 you already used, somehow that has to relate to the total of 120. So if we have 120 gigs available, does this have to be more than or less than or more than or equal to, or less than or equal to, 120. Yeah. He came over here yesterday and he was like, I just have to tell you, my fourth period Bible class is crazy. So you're going to hear a lot of that. I was like, yeah, we were taking a test yesterday and my students were like hearing all of your crazy over there. Um, but apparently they're a crazy class. Um, so anyway, this amount has to be less than, or it could equal, right? Because we have 120 gigs available. So V plus 85 has to be less than or equal to 120 gigs. So how many gigs do we have to work with? 
for video space. What do we got to do? Subtract. Subtract it, right? If we're doing V plus 85 is less than or equal to 120, we're just going to take that 85 away. So it's V is less than or equal to, what's 120 minus 85? 35. Okay, so you have 35 gigs available. So your videos can be 35 gigs or less to put on your hard drive. If you had more than that, it's going to say your hard drive or your disk is full and you have to delete some other stuff first, right? Questions on that? Okay.